channel. My name is Shirley Howard and I'm a fashion reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Vintage Canada, and I've actually been doing some more stuff on Facebook Marketplace. So if you're interested in any of those platforms or fashion reselling, hit that subscribe button below to be notified when new videos are released. So today's video is specifically on Vintage Canada. My one month review on being a seller on Vintage Canada because I have sold a few things on there. But I've also learned some things about Vintage that I'm not quite happy about. And I'll read those emails to you and tell you why my closet got blocked at the end of this video. So my goal with Vintage Canada is to have a look at what's in there. I did some research, I did, did a couple other videos on it to see how does the platform work, how do you list, how do you sell, how does the pricing work, and it's really hard to find things on Vintage Canada. And I've been sending a lot of emails to their customer service, and again, there's three specific ones that ah, I will share at the end of this video, and I uh, wasn't happy with the decisions on a couple of them, and again, you will be shocked, as I was at one of them. So what I'm going to give you right now is a list of the pros on Vintage Canada. Number one, it is very easy to sell on the site, easy to list on the site, and as a seller, you pay no fees. So the good news is, is that if you sell something for $40, then you get every cent of that $40. And the good news with that is that it's sent to your account within one to three days after a buyer has confirmed that they've received the item and that it is indeed as described. And they sign off and say, click, yes, it's great. And then your money gets transferred. And I have been checking my bank statements just to see that it happened. And so far, so good with the payment. The shipping methods, there's multiple ways that you can choose to ship. So you can go Pure Later, you can go UPS, you can actually meet up if you're in the same city, and then there's Canada Post. So it is so reasonable to sell on Vinted when you can use Pure Later and uh, UPS, and something like goes for 99 cents. 99 cents, and Canada Post are gonna be over $13 to send the same item. The one catch is that I did buy one thing on Vinted. I haven't received it yet. I just made the purchase. I will physically need to go to my UPS location, which is a few minutes from my house, maybe five, and pick it up there. So it doesn't come directly to my house, but the shipping is amazing. I can start a conversation with somebody. There's an option right there to start a conversation with somebody that's selling an item. So I like that feature. Um, they promote safe payments, so that's another great thing about them. Uh, there is buyer protection, so that if you get an item and it's not as described, again, the buyer pays a fee, and I believe it was a dollar something on the order I just placed for that buyer protection. So it looks like Vinted is making some money from the buyers in this case, as opposed to the sellers. So there are some good things about Vinted. However, where there's good, there is also some bad. I can't figure out how to easily search through my closet. There's no search feature. I cross list, and again, more on this cross listing later, from Poshmark and eBay onto Vinted. So I'm doing the same items and I'm posting them in different places. I don't keep track of what I'm putting on Vinted because it's kind of random. I'm just throwing some items on there to see what sticks. I'm trying some items that are $5. $10, $30, $40, $50 to see what I can sell on there. So I'm not going through my closet and going, this. I'm just going to follow this nice order. So if I want to look and see if something is already listed there, I have to scroll through my items. If I sell something on eBay or Poshmark and I need to remove it from Vinted, I need to scroll through my Vinted closet. And I'm not sure why Vinted can call it a closet because Poshmark calls it a closet. They probably should have used something else, but that's just me. Uh, I have to scroll through and delete that item just to get it off there so I don't have somebody buying it on multiple platforms. This has happened to me before on Poshmark and eBay if I have forgotten to remove it from one site or the other. So I don't like that. The sales place in general seem to be low, 
And the time I'm spending on the platform, I again, I'm trying to figure out how everything works. And I'm looking at people's profile and I'm looking to see if they have any sold items. And the items I'm seeing that are sold are again, $5, $10, some things at $2. It's really like, why would you sell something for $2? It just doesn't make sense unless it was part of a bigger bundle. It just doesn't make sense to me, and I'm not going to sell anything for that low. My time is worth way more than that. Um, there's also, I would say, a limited number of people on the platform. As we know, there's millions of people on Poshmark, and pff, Lord knows, millions and millions of people on eBay, and you're hitting a larger, broader category. And I think probably the most I've seen of someone that, that was following someone else was about 10,000. So again, I don't have a number, but that's the highest one that I actually saw on Vinted. On that note, it's hard to get followers. There is no follow button. There, well, there is a follow button. There is no easy way to follow people. You, <laughs> you, I... I look at people that have stuff sold on the main screen, I click on their profile, I click under who they're following, and I click under who, who's following them, and I look to see if there's anybody that I'm not currently following, and then I click on those buttons. But I only click on buttons that have a picture. My reason for that is if you're not putting a picture on there, then you're probably just a looky-loo. And if I click through some of those profiles, they have nothing listed and they have nobody that they're following. So it's really, they're kind of just looking around. Uh, initially, I was following everyone. So I'll probably go back through my list of things, people I'm following and remove some of those people um, because I don't think it's relevant to have them there. But my hope in following people is that they come and follow me back. Now, I sense that a lot of people on Vinted are younger people, younger people than myself. Um, so I'm not quite sure if they understand how a selling platform actually works. So I don't know if they understand that when someone follows you, the protocol would you follow them back. So again, I don't know what people understand about this platform. I'm not seeing the stuff online on this. So I'm hopefully helping you guys out and trying to figure this out, this out for you. So that's what I do with my follow strategy. I go to profiles, I look to see who has a picture and who I'm not following, and I just click follow, 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 follow. And again, hopefully that picks up, and I think I'm up to about 350 followers on a Vinted. And again, I don't know if followers equal sales on Vinted, because I know on Poshmark, where I have, I don't know, a couple hundred thousand followers, followers do not equal sales. So. Whether it's valuable or not is yet to be determined. I also cannot check on comparable sold items on Vinted. I am listing products with no clue as to what to price them for on that platform. eBay, I can source sold. Poshmark, I can look for what has sold for those items or something that is comparable. Not on Vinted, I can't seem to find any of that information. I am literally clicking on people's profile and scrolling through to see if there's anything sold and then looking at the price of those sold items. So it's random. So when I'm pricing on Vinted, I have to remember that I'm not gonna get charged a 20% fee like Poshmark or a 14 to 15% fee like eBay. So I will price a little bit lower. And a couple items I throw on there, I'll just drop them a little bit more than what I would usually sell them for. And those are probably items that are slow moving or I've had for a long time. And if I sold those for $15, then I'm okay with that. And I just want to get rid of them. But again, I'm just testing the platform out to see what works. Ah, uh, interesting. When you sell something on Vinted, an automated note goes to the buyer. And the note says, <laughs> automated note. So when I bought that item this morning, I got a automated note that said, thank you, but also said this was automated. So there's nothing special about that. That automated needs to go away. Also, no sales reports, no inventory reports. 
I have no way of tracking what's on there. I can't run an inventory report. It's just all by looking and seeing what's going on on there. I am also, when I talk about my first video, I found Vinted as it was advertised on my Candy Crush game on my phone. I've not seen any other promotion on Vinted out there. Maybe you have. If you have, drop me a note in the comments. And if you know how anything works on Vinted, please drop me a note in the comments. We'll all share this information and see if we can somehow make this work and we can make money doing this. But stay tuned, and I'll explain why that's a bad thing on Vinted in a minute. So I don't know how they're getting to people. There's people joining, absolutely, but are they joining as fast as on Poshmark? I don't think even close to that. But I just don't understand how the platform works. So there's a lot of things that um, we don't also have on Vinted that sold, or sorry, advertised on other platforms. So the outlet, which I talked about in my very first video, does not exist in Canada yet. And promoting your items, or they call it bumping your items, does not exist in Canada yet. So the best part about it is there's no sharing. Uh, the worst part about it is it's really hard to track anything. So I think it might get better over time as more things become uh, live or activated on the Canadian platform, but that's yet to be determined. So those are some good and bad things about Vinted. Now I'm going to share with you three separate email conversations I had with their customer service team. They're supposed to respond within 12 to 48 hours. That is a bit loose. Um, I've had other emails besides these ones where I've asked them lots of questions and uh, someone answered me today and then another rep answered me the next day. So they don't really have all their act together there yet either. But I will go back to my very first one. And this is in my first video on Vinted and I'm going to read it to you. This is the email I got after being on Vinted for one day. Greetings, Shirley. I'm sorry to inform you that many of your items violate our catalog rules. Listings that contain photos or graphic materials that do not belong to you infringe copyright laws. So we kindly ask that you remove the aforementioned pics. Photos you find online or someone else's property, using them may result in the copyright owner filing a lawsuit against you. That is highly likely to result in a financial penalty. Do not take that risk. Note that repeated violations of this rule increase the risk of legal actions. We already noticed that you uploaded photos that you own and use them on Vinted. We very much like to encourage that, so keep up the good Vinting, Vinting and I wish you a very nice day. So they've obviously looked at my profile because they saw stock photos and non-stock photos. You cannot use stock photos on Poshmark or eBay, but everybody does. I assume Vinted was going to be the same way. Uh, clearly they are not. So I don't list anything on Vinted with stock photos anymore. I don't receive any more emails on that. So if you're using stock photos, you might get this email. I don't know if they'll find you. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. So that was, you know, that's okay. I didn't know that's, that was a rule breaker. Oh, let's see. I want to go with this one. So as I'm going around the platform, I notice some people have a blue check mark by their name and lots and lots of followers. So my question was to the customer service people is why do some people have a blue check mark under their profile? When I looked at these profiles, these people have either no items listed, they're not following anybody else. I'll show you an example here. Um, one of them did have some things listed and they sold them off for like $5. So they're not active on the platform. They are just there and people are following them. They probably were the same recommended followers that you had when you joined Vintage. And I think five of them came up. And if you look at them, they have tons of followers. Some have items, most of them don't. And there's no activity on the platform. So my question was, why do they have this blue? Check mark, and they have this blue check mark because they are considered trusted sellers. I think you can feel the next question. How do they become trusted sellers? Is there a Posh Ambassador program that Vinted has for trusted sellers? Well, I did ask that question and said no. Currently, there is no clear process on how to become a trusted seller, 
as the Vintage Canada platform is still in its infancy. So the people you see on the app have been manually selected at launch. Manually selected at launch. Huh. So again, I always want to fast track this a little bit more and I ask some more questions to which this is what I got the reply. Here at Vintage Canada, we truly appreciate your enthusiasm about the platform and your willingness to help us improve it because I'm asking a lot of questions. But sadly, the trusted seller status is given to influencers. They are selected up front by our PR department to help promote the platform upon launch. There's nothing they're doing on Vintage. There's no way to obtain that status as it isn't tied to a number of sales because they don't have those or a seller's rating because you don't get ratings until you sell items and people that bought your items give you a, you know, a rating of one to five. They were selected based on a number, based on the number of followers and type of content. I don't know where these people came from. I don't even know if these are real people. To be honest, I don't know if they're real people. So until further notice, we are not going to be giving out blue badges to other members. That said, after every sale, you should encourage the buyers to leave a review for you. That way you'll be promoted organically through the system. Hope I've answered your questions clearly and would love to see you thrive on Vinted. So none of that made sense to me. So because it's kind of hard to figure out how to buy and sell on Vinted, the organic growth might be a little slow, and as I mentioned earlier, the follow process is a bit frustrating at this point. This is the worst email. This one came out of nowhere, out of nowhere. I was shocked. Actually, I'm still shocked. If I hadn't figured something out after this, which I'll tell you about, I would be really angry about this, really angry. So, out of the blue, three weeks into selling on Vinted, I get this email from Sammy. Hello, Shirley. We are happy to see that you have such a rich wardrobe here on Vinted. I think at this point I had maybe 100 items listed. However, we have reason to believe that all of your items were obtained or listed for the purpose of resale. Thus, they are considered as commercial offers and we do not allow such activity on Vinted. Which means professional resellers not on Vinted. They're telling me that. They told me in this listing. Commercial activity may include selling items that you have not purchased for your own use but with the intent to resell them. Selling numerous brand name items, including items with tags and or low value items. I mentioned earlier, there's so much stuff on there for $5. I bought a pair of shoes this morning for $5. They should have been 50, so low value. Creating listings that are using pictures from the internet or stock photos. Making large volume transactions, taking into account number of transactions made and the amount of revenue earned. They don't want people to make a lot of money on Vintage is what this is telling me. Selling clothing or other items of the same style but in a different number of colors and sizes. Selling items with a note that says can be ordered. Selling with the intention to generate a regular source of income. Selling items that you made as handcrafted and designer. Acting on behalf of a particular trader or through another person acting in their name and on their behalf and receiving remuneration or an incentive. Renting your items or suggesting services. Please avoid listing commercial offers in the future as we have blocked, blocked, the commercial items already in your closet. If you ignore our catalog rules, we will have to suspend your account for seven days. We really hope that this won't stop. <laughs> We're sorry, we really hope that this step won't be necessary because we love having fun with you. Happy face. 
They blocked my account. Every single item, when you pulled up my closet, said blocked. Now, some items were items that I did purchase for the sole purpose of reselling on Poshmark, eBay, or Facebook, or Etsy, wherever I want to put them. But a lot of these items actually were my own items. So that made me angry because I'm like, no, these are my own items. How do you know they're not my own items? <sighs> so I went in and I clicked on my closet and I pulled up the first item, blocked. And I'm in my mind, I'm going, I have listed over a hundred items in the time I have spent trying to figure out this platform and tell other people about it and see if I can make some money here. They're telling me we don't want commercial resellers. We don't want make people making a lot of money, but we want you to have fun with us. So are we going to be selling five and ten dollar items? No, they actually said in here we don't want you selling low value items either. What's their policy? Anywho, I'm scrolling through my items and I went down on my app and I scrolled through the first ten. Blocked, 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 blocked. My head was going to explode. I got to the 11th item, and guess what? It was not blocked. 12th item, not blocked. 13, 14, 5th, they only blocked the first 10 items. Very proud of myself for figuring that out. So if you do get blocked, check and see how many items they actually blocked. So clearly, all I had to do was go in and I deleted those 10 items, bam! unblocked. Life was good. I'm guessing they never suspected that someone would go in and actually check all of their items to see if they're blocked. They've never dealt with me before. I can be fairly persistent as they probably know me <laughs> because I've asked them so many questions. Uh, my name. I should change my name on Vinted and, and say I'm somebody else. But yes, if you are a commercial reseller, and I know you're out there because I see other closets on there that I recognize from Poshmark. So I do know there's Poshmarkers on there selling their items as well, and they're using stock photos, and they're selling multiple items, and they're doing exactly what they would on Poshmark. So it's not clear that Vinted doesn't want commercial sellers or resellers online. How are they going to make money if they're charging a percentage of a fee to a buyer for an order, they're not going to make any money doing that. They need thousands and hundreds of thousands of people like us who are resellers online selling a lot of merchandise. That's how they're going to make money. So this whole commercial reselling thing really irritated me. And I, I was irritated for a couple of days and didn't do anything with Vinted. Then I, I got over it and went, okay, I'll delete those items. Let's just start listing a couple items a day to see what happens, see if they block me again, see if they suspend my account. Nothing happened after that. So it was initially shocking to me to know that they don't want commercial sellers. So I don't know if that changes your point of view on Vinted. It certainly changed my point of view on Vinted. However, in the past month, I did sell some items and I did make $155, which is $155 more than I would have made. Uh, and some of the items I've actually been listing on Vinted are things that aren't on Poshmark. I listed some bench t-shirts. They were just my bench t-shirts. I listed them for $10 and someone bought two of them for $20. So I am looking for lower priced items that I wouldn't put on Poshmark because of the value. So to put a $10 item on Poshmark and lose 20% to Poshmark fees, again, it's not worth my time. But to sell a couple of $10 items for $20 and I drop it off at UPS, that's perfectly fine with me. So if you're selling things like American Eagle or Sheen or some of the you know lower value brands at a lower price, you might do fine on Vinted. Now I have searched online for higher value items like Coach or Michael Kors, items like in Lululemon, things that do well on other platforms. And you know, there is lots of that stuff on there. Is it selling? I don't know. I haven't cost, come across anyone I have checked out as a seller. Uh, that shows any of those items sold, but I'm sure there's people out there that have sold them. Um, I've sold one Lululemon top on there, just the one. Uh, but again, $155 is better than nothing. So, 
what am I going to do now? So, because I have invested a fair amount of time uh, into Vinted, and I think I have 154 items listed now, and I've made Inway in a little bit of some sales out there, uh, I'm getting some followers out there, uh, I'm going to probably continue listing two or three items a day, and, you know, maybe spend some time around the platform, again, checking for followers, just to see what happened. Because as they clearly stated in their emails, Vinted Canada is in its infancy. And I'm feeling that being in on the ground floor, uh, you know, building some follower lists and, you know, trying to understand the platform. When they announce new things that they have on the platform and they said they would announce them. And I don't know if that's, you know, in social media or if they're giving an email or how they're going to announce these things the site will get better. So for now, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, but not extend a lot of energy in that area. I'm making way more money over in Poshmark, and eBay has been so hot for me lately. I'm just ecstatic about that. I think I'm almost making more money on eBay now than Poshmark. So, you know, I'm keeping those two platforms and spending the bulk of my time on Poshmark and eBay where I know I'm going to make some returns. Oh, so that was a lot of information to digest in one video. So if you have found this information educational and informative on your way out today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, drop me any notes in the comment section on anything you're looking for or information on Vinted. If you have information to share with me, please do. Uh, I'd love to, to hear back from you on things that I don't know about Vinted. And stay tuned, I will, as I learn more about Vinted, put some more videos online for you guys to see. So thank you, and I will see you in my next video.